Well, good morning, guys. Welcome back. Here we are at Camp Krakatini. We're in the uh, main residence here. Uh, nothing glamorous, just an old mobile home, but it's in really good shape. Anyway, <laughs> that's where we stay here at the lake, Camp Krakatini. Right, up early this morning. It's still way dark outside. We're going on an adventure today. We're heading a few hours away to where we got the cabin, the one we're building, uh, the boathouse cabin. We're going to head out to that ranch and take a look at the other cabin we're going to pick up next spring. Um, disassemble, put it on a trailer, bring it back here. Check in on that and we're also picking up a side of beef from the boys on that ranch and um, we'll check out the original homestead which is where those two cabins come from and maybe in another video there's also another homestead out there. Uh, we'll, if we get time we'll pop over and uh, take a look at that and that'll be another video as well. So this morning, breakfast the champions a little bacon and egg, a little coffee, and uh, we'll really need a sweater this morning. It is about minus three degrees out there and pretty dark. And for you guys that uh, want it in Fahrenheit or whatever that temperature is, not sure. <laughs> but Celsius we're uh, minus two, minus three degrees. Uh, a little chilly. Not as chilly as the last couple of mornings. They were like minus ten. So anyway, let me have breakfast. We've got to pick the neighbor up and then we're going to drop the trailer off at the sawmill on the way to pick up some more wood. Uh, the one by material for uh, roof sheathing. And we'll drop that. Anyway, you won't see all that. We'll just turn up at the other end at the ranch. Thanks for coming along guys. Well, it goes around, comes around, so... Yeah. Well, I know that that's when I retired uh, from ducks, I had a minor heart attack. Oh, God, years and years and years ago. So I, uh, I was walking along Big Creek uh, doing the ducks work, and I nearly fell in. And if I did, I would have drowned. I sat down right away because I started to... I got really dizzy. Yeah. And, uh... Alright guys, so here we are. We finally made it out to the uh, ranch here. And uh, let's wander over and look at these buildings. And where the boathouse came from. It's absolutely beautiful. Lily Lake. So this is the original uh, homestead here, over well over a hundred years old. Um, so this structure here on the left is the one we're picking up uh, next spring after breakup out here. We'll bring the excavator out with the uh, reach and lift all the logs down and transport it back, and we're going to build this one back at back at the lake. And this one here, which I imagine originally was some sort of uh, animal shelter um, solid structure sod roof looks like there's something nesting up in there pretty nice all right I think we're actually going to take this one back as well and I'll set it up high off the ground and uh, anyway pretty cool Maybe do a blacksmith shop out of this one. But we'll try and rescue this little one before it gets too far gone. A couple of logs need replacing. Now the um, the boathouse used to be right here under this pile of uh, logs. And uh, oop. there's the hide off an animal. I think it may be the cow that we just uh, the cow doesn't look like cow fur. Anyway um, the remains of the beef that we just got are in this pile. They're going to burn this this winter. Uh, this was the original homestead. Um, the latest cabin. 
So once again there the uh, the boat shed came from this spot and the original um, the original cabin was this one here which we're going to take back and rebuild. Let's take a good look at this. Alright. A couple of logs need a little work. But overall she's in pretty nice condition. Nice and rustic already. The boys here have already lifted it up out of the dirt. Um, so that the uh, the bottom logs don't rot anymore. And it looks like it got a little bit up there. But we can re replace some of these logs with new when we do it. That's not a problem. Most all of them are pretty good. So that's good. It's a little better built than the uh, the boathouse one. And this say uh, this was the original cabin. And then from here they went, they built the other one. That is pretty cool, guys. Maybe when we get back to the lake, I'll take you for a walk up to uh, where I plan on building this one. Let's take a look inside. This, uh, this cabin used to have a sod roof originally. The guys here at the ranch took it all off, cleared out inside here, and I imagine these pegs were for putting saddles on. After they built the new cabin, this one became probably the uh, the horse tack shelter and spare parts. And there's the uh, hey pups um, rock foundation that it was originally sitting on. Looks like some of the rocks are gone already. All right, cool. We are quite a f long way out of town, so uh, tough days back in those days. All right, guys, so um, there we go. Uh, the original homestead here on this ranch. And we're saving two of the cabins, maybe three, including that little uh, animal one. Um, we'll sign off when we get back home, and I take out to the spot where I think we're going to build this one. Uh, put this one back together. Time for the long drive home. Well, g'day guys. Good morning. And uh, we got back yesterday from the, uh, the ranch where this cabin originally came from. Uh, we're still working away on it. It is getting pretty cold here. It's a couple of degrees below zero in Celsius. And um, it'll warm up a little bit for the next couple of days. Uh, we are still trucking along with this. We got all the, um, the rafters up. And uh, we've got some roofing boards on there as well. So hopefully we'll get more roofing boards from the mill this afternoon. And be able to come close, if not finish off the roofing boards for this year. And then that's how it'll be for the winter. And because um, it's getting a little chilly to get up there and put uh, metal roofing on. So that'll happen in the spring next year. Um, so it'll be frozen and under snow all winter. And we'll probably even park a boat in there this winter. So uh, thanks for coming along. Hit that uh, big red appreciation button below. And uh, stick around for the next video, another really neat old uh, homestead, uh, a little bigger than the one where this came from, same general area, and uh, that'll be in the next video. So we'll see you then guys, thanks very much.